So I'm here at the dumpster. Jennifer came up with me tonight. A couple problems. The dumpster's not allowed to be over top of the edge, which we are, and Jennifer doesn't like all this metal in there that could be recycled. So we're in the process of pulling that out. Remember that tractor I put in in the video from last night? I'm gonna see if I can use the forks to pull that tractor back out now and that heavy toolbox. And we're gonna put them over here because we found a local guy who will come pick up all this scrap metal tomorrow. So tonight's project, instead of getting more stuff in the dumpster, is to get some stuff back out of the dumpster <laughs> and stack it over here. I told him he should come up here and work without me. I just hate to see metal go to the landfill if it doesn't have to.
Huh. You need to get that out of there. I think we need to try to get some stuff out by hand. Yeah. So we pulled all this out of the dumpster. We've got some aluminum door and window frames, that big toolbox, swing set frame, the frame from out of the bed of a truck, like a homemade headache rack, uh, just some metal pieces, like a teeter-totter piece. Over there's the tractor, that big toolbox. I don't know if I already said that. Here's that tractor, we got it out. The super heavy metal sink, we got that out. And a couple real mowers. And most importantly, it's just not going to the landfill. Right. Yep, so now we've got that all out of the dumpster. The dumpster's below the level it needs to be. We're gonna go up and scour the woods to see what other metal treasures we can find. So this is the pile of stuff that we got just out of the woods directly behind me. We couldn't get everything. Some of the stuff was grown into trees. Some of the stuff is kind of under the earth too far to even lift up, but lots of steel here. There's an old car bumper there. This cool aluminum side trim off of some old car. So comment down below if you recognize what car or truck would have had trim like this. Could have possibly been the same car that this headlight and this bumper came off of. We also found multiple mufflers, lots of pipe, and this door that still has the vent window in it. Don't know what that's off of. It's a pretty cool color. Last thing we found most recently is an old sign. This was buried this side up, but under several inches of stuff. I just filled it under my feet when I was walking, so I lifted it up to see what it was. But this is actually a family relative uh, decades ago, several generations ago, and we found this up in the woods here at this property. Because this was originally family land. In the 1800s in the early 1900s, yes. All right, so that's what we got done here. We'll- Pile number two. Pile number two. It's about time to wrap up for today. So thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, click that subscribe button. We'll see you again the next time.